Hi, I'm B-Rad, and welcome to the B-Rad Video Show. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Uh, this is going to be my Christmas wish list video. Some cool game stuff that I would love to get, but a lot of it's, uh, you know, rare, hard to find, expensive, or maybe a combination of all of that. So anyway, these would be my top things that I would love to, uh, just really, really love to get uh, sometime, you know, preferably under the tree for Christmas. Anyway, uh, number five. Number five would be um, a MAME arcade machine. When I was growing up, I used to love playing arcade machines. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of the greatest games, they came out in the arcade first, and then hopefully they made a decent translation on the consoles later on. But that didn't always happen. Anyway, I'd love to play my favorite shmops or uh, great beat-em-up games like TMNT or the Simpsons arcade game. Um, I also used to love the Alien vs. Predator game for... Um, you know, the, ar the arcades and stuff, so I would just love to have my own meme arcade machine. It'd be fantastic, and I could relive a lot of childhood memories. So that's number five. Okay, my number four uh, pick would be, um, it would have to be the Atari Jaguar. I always wanted one of those as well. It's something I never really got to try. I think I tried a demo once, and that was about it. Um, that's another system that had uh, an at uh, Alien vs. Predator game. I liked that stuff when I was a kid. This is back before the movies came out, by the way. Both of these Alien vs. Predator games I'm talking about, uh, the movies never existed at the time. Anyway, I would have loved to ha have a Jaguar. I'd love to get one now, play the AVP game. And uh, they had stuff like Doom and Wolfenstein on it. And at the time, it looked like it uh, was probably on some of the, you know, some of the better versions of it that were around. I haven't actually played it, so maybe I'm wrong. But at the, I, I was playing on SNES, so it'd be cool to check out Jaguar. Okay. My number three pick, that would be uh, the Atari Lynx. Um, you can see I'm a bit of an Atari fan. Um, one of my friends used to have that as a kid, and I had a Game Boy at the time, and just seeing it in color and how like the system, you could flip it upside down and stuff like that, it was really neat. Um, the second model specifically, that one was really cool. Uh, I remember playing California games on that, and I used to play that on my Sega Master System, but seeing it, you know, being able to play it handheld and stuff uh, back then, it was pretty cool. Um, as you can tell, I love, I love to collect uh, handheld consoles and stuff like that, so I'd love to get an Atari Lynx. It'd be really cool and uh, play some cool Lynx games. Okay, number two. Number two is something I actually used to have as a kid. Um, it's a Sega CD game. When uh, I was a kid growing up, you know, a lot of times to get some of the newer consoles, I traded my old stuff, so I traded all my Sega CD games in my bundle. And one of them was this game called Snatcher for Sega CD. And do I ever regret that? If you know what it is and you know what I'm talking about. It's a, it's a great game. It's uh, made by Hideo Kojima. Uh, he's the guy that made the uh, Metal Gear Solid games. And I love those games as well. Anyway, this game now fetches hundreds of dollars. It's insane. I remember I bought it for you know, less than retail price back when I got it. And unfortunately, I don't have one anymore. And I'd love to have one. It was a fun game. I remember thoroughly enjoying it when I played it for the first time and uh, I thoroughly regret not having one right now and that is my second pick. Okay, my number one pick for my Christmas wish list is uh, the Nintendo Switch. I don't have one yet. Um, almost almost uh, most of my friends have one already. I decided not to get one right away just because it was new and I didn't see the urgent rush to get one. But uh, I have been playing it at my friend's place, and it is pretty awesome. And uh, the Breath of the Wild game, that looks really cool. And also with the announcement of the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, I really, really want to check one of these out. Uh, so that'd be my top uh, pick. Most of these on my list are kind of unrealistic or hard to find. The Switch isn't so bad. It's still pretty expensive anyway. But that's uh, my top five uh, wish list things that I want for Christmas. And... Um, what do you guys think? Please leave some comments below. What are you guys hoping to get for Christmas? Any game related stuff or just, you know, something else? Please let me know. Anyway, I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time.